Hello my hardworking students and welcome back to my channel. My name is Roxana and I am a qualified teacher in the UK. And in this lesson I'm going to show you a few tricks on how to identify if a number is a multiple of another number. And you can use these tricks when you simplify fractions and you can use them for a few other things. So let's get started. Okay, first of all, multiples of 2. How do you know if a number divides exactly by 2? Yeah, a multiple of a number is a number that divides exactly by the other number. So a 10, for example, divides exactly by 2 and it gives you 5. And that means that the 2 and the 5 are factors of 10. And 10 is a multiple of 2 and a multiple of 5. Okay? And the way we identify the multiples of 2 is like this. Any multiple of 2 is going to end in 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So any number, regardless of how long or short it is and how many digits it has, if the last digit is one of these numbers here, then the number is going to divide exactly by 2. For example, 32, 58, 40, 18, 34, 62. Yeah, just randomly I chose some numbers that came up in my head. And these numbers are divisible by 2, they're multiple of 2 because they end in 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. If you put other numbers, other digits in front of this, it's not going to change anything. It might change if you put your digits after. If I put 1, this number now is no longer going to divide exactly by 2. It's going to have a remainder of 1. Okay? So, here's your task. You have to identify the multiples of 2. And you can just write on your paper, you can write A, then you can write C and D and so on without writing the numbers. Or you can just write the numbers without the letters, okay? Um, take a minute to do this and I'm going to show you the answer after this. Okay, so I'm just going to, because I don't have answers for these activities, I'm just going to quickly circle them out for you. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. All of these are multiples of two. That's it. Okay, I hope you got it right. Eh, ignore this. <laughs> Okay, and next bit. How can you tell if a number is a multiple of 3? Well, the way you do that it doesn't really work anymore with the last digit now. You have to add up the digits. Okay, let's just, to prove a point, choose a num any number in the 3 times table. Did you say 18? Oh, 18, right. I'm going to check 18. 18 when you add up the digits is 1 plus 8 which gives you 9 and 9 divides exactly by 3 so 
it means that 18 is going to divide exactly by 3. It does not give you the answer. It just tells you if yes or no. Okay? Can you pick another number in the 3 times table? 33. Oh, interesting choice. Okay, right. 3 plus 3. Yeah, 33 is 3 plus 3. I'm just adding up the digits. You don't have to worry about this is a 10 and this is a unit. Okay? Just pick up the numbers. Okay, 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 divides by 3. And it means that it's a, a factor of, it's a multiple of 3. 6 is a multiple of 3. Okay, and any other number? 300, you said. Oh, yeah, of course. That's 3 plus 0 plus 0. Or 123. Here, 123. 1 plus 2 plus 3. 1 plus 2 plus 3 gives me 6. And 6 divides by 3. So the answer is positive. Now, if you look at these numbers, let's just play with them. If you mix up these digits, when you add them up, you're still going to get the same number. So you could say 213. 123, 231, and so on. Any combination of these, because when you add them up, you get 6. Any combination of these numbers, if you use them all, it's going to give you a multiple of 3. You can also add zeros after the numbers. See, as many as you like. It's still going to divide by 3. Hope you like this trick. Okay, let's see. Let's check these numbers. Pause the video, check which one of these divides exactly by 3. Some of them are too big to be in the 3 times table, but you can check by adding the digits. Okay, so 8, no, 10, no, 7, no, 12, no, no, yes. 5 plus 0 is 5, doesn't work. 5 plus 1 is 6, yes. 9 plus 1, 10, no. This one, yes. This one, no. This one, 3 plus 2, 5, no. This one, yes. 4 plus 2, 6, yes. 2 plus 8, 10, no. 12, yes, 7, no, 9, yes, 6, yes, 7, no, okay, next, how do we spot a multiple of 5, a multiple of 5, think about the 5 times table, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And all of these numbers, what do you notice? They all end in 0 or 5. Okay, any number you like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 9. Any number you choose, if you put a 0 or a 5 at the end, it's going to become a multiple of 5. This is a multiple of 5. And if I put a 5 instead, it's also going to be a multiple of 5. Doesn't matter how many numbers it has in front of it, how many digits uh, long it is, it's always going to divide by 5. Okay, so next here, how do we spot? Spot which ones divide by 5. Pause the video and get on with the work. Okay, let's have a look. 
this one no this one yes no no yes no no yes yes no yes yes no 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 and the rest of them are oh yes 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 good okay so those are the ones that divide exactly by five i didn't ask you how much it is when you divide them by five all i said was spot the multiples of five and the purpose of you doing this activity is to form your eye so you can tell straight away if that number is a multiple of five or not then when we do simplifying fractions it's going to be so much easier or if you ever need to factorize something when you do the GCSE and you do factorizing, it's also very easy to spot multiples of a number. Okay. And now we have multiples of 9. When you do 9, multiples of 9, the same trick as with 3 applies. So the sum of the digits. Think about the 9 times table. 45, 72... What else? 36, 27. Okay, all of these numbers are going to give you 9 when you add them up. Yeah? 4 plus 5, 9. 7 plus 2, 9. 3 plus 6, 9. 2 plus 7, 9. They all give you 9. Okay, if you take these two digits and you do 4 or 5, when you add up the digits, you still have 4 plus 5 plus 0. You still get a 9, and it means this is still going to divide by 9. If you put the 5 and then the 0, it's also going to divide by 9. If you put the 5 in front of the 4, it's also going to divide by 9 because you always have the same digits added up together. Okay, so... Let's do the same practice here. Add up the digits, see which one divides by 9. Find the multiple of 9. Okay, let's have a look. This is too small, too small. A multiple of a number is bigger than the number, not smaller. Okay? 15, no, 19, no, 100, no. These numbers added, if you do 3 plus 2, 6, no. 2 plus 4, 6, no, it doesn't work. No, nope. Nope, nope, yes. Nope, nope. Okay, so we only have two multiples of 9. And last bit, multiples of 10. Numbers are multiples of 10 if they end in 0. Okay, regardless, regardless if you have 3 digits, if you have 2 zeros at the end, or if you only have 1 zero at the end, they will divide by 10. Exactly. If you have two digits at the end, it means they will also divide by 100. But right now we're only focusing on whether a number is a multiple of 10 or not. 160, 20, 50. Yeah, all of these have a zero at the end. So they are multiples of 10. Okay, so let's see, pause the video, do some work identifying which ones are the multiples of 10. Right, let's have a look. Nope, yes, nope, nope, 
yes no zero no zero yes yes uh no i mean no yes yes no nope no 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 yes no so see this one is a multiple of five but is not a multiple of ten this is a multiple of ten this is not a multiple of ten okay so that is it for today this was just a quick lesson to show you how to identify some factor of some multiples of numbers and this is more like a some math tricks that you can use to make your life easier when you work with other topics okay some of the schools don't teach you this i'm not sure i haven't seen it taught very often especially the tricks with the three and the nine okay so Thank you for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, well done for sticking until the end. I am really proud of you and keep up the good work. Bye.